So once when I was performing an all-state band, this was back when I was in high school, the conductor called me forward in the middle when everyone's playing, and he said, so come up to the front, stand on the podium, and then play with the violin part, because we had the same part. And it scared me. I was like, oh my goodness. So I had to like play it by memory, I think. And then I also had to show the violins what I was trying to do. And it made me think of the importance of learning to cue. And it was something that I started really working on because it, it just takes too much time when you're trying to describe to everyone what you're going to do and they can't quite read your movements. Yeah. So I think it's imperative to talk about it in this episode of Guide to Performing, how to cue. Yes. And uh, it's often the first impression that you give people when you play with them. So any new person that cue you give, and that used to really intimidate me because I thought, oh man, they don't even know what tempo it is. We're not even coming in together. So I felt really vulnerable. Yeah. And, and uh, my, first, my first real cueing job was leading an orchestra. I'd never had any experience and I had to lead an orchestra with no conductor. So this is like maybe 20, 30 strings. And I was horrible at it. And no one taught me how to do it. And I don't think, like, you've never been Yeah, it's not really key, taught. Right? And yeah. it's something, it's not as difficult as we make it out to yeah. be. Very simple little tips can help you look like a pro doing it. Yeah, and so I wanted to be able to go where I can meet a group of people or in, with Maria, and I have a simple, clear idea of how I'm going to cue everything. Mm -hmm. So if it's 4-4, four, four, I'm only concentrating, the time signature at 4-4, four, four, I'm only concentrating on the last two beats. So down for three, and then on beat four, the flute comes up, and I inhale in the tempo of the music. We'll try it here on an old American tune. So like this, down. And the idea on the flute, a lot of times people will mess with their lips right before you play, and that messes up the idea mm -hmm. of what the beat is. You want to be really clear rhythm. on the beat. Yeah. yeah. So right. just clean beats, and then try to keep as still here as you oh, can. Oh, and violinists are out there too. So. I go out and then in. So three, four. Shall we try? Sure. Okay. Okay, so if you want to go pro level, this is what we do because we've been playing forever together. And uh, it just becomes a beat. And it's not even necessarily in the right tempo, but the feel and conviction is so strong that he just gets one to come in or I get one to come in. So I don't think you can do it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so. <laughs> so for that, I actually jump. And it's fun. You feel it, you convey it, and you even hide that you're giving a cue because you're in the, I guess, in the character of the music so much. Yeah. So you can do that with something slow. Shall we demonstrate on... And that's all great conductors are, right? Maria was a great conductor here and that she inspired <laughs> me to play with all this energy that I didn't know I had. You so. didn't even know I was cueing you, right? You're just <laughs> feeling it. So, hey, why didn't you, you do You want to do that for your mates. Hit me back for a flower duet. Okay. That's all we need to show. I almost show. kept going. <laughs> but yeah, so in that, he got the feeling of it through his breath and movement. Yeah. So I guess another thing to think about also, we'll start a piece, and then you'll see people, even in a concert, go through a whole piece where you can tell they want to go faster, but they don't know how to communicate that. Mm. So what we do to solve that problem, if one of us wants it faster, just lean forward a little bit, and you can speed up gradually. And same thing for going slower. You lean back. And yeah. we love doing this with students when we do outreach performances, have them conduct us a little bit, and they love doing this. They can move you fast, 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 which is really all they yeah. do. And then sometimes <laughs> they'll do a slow second. So we'll do a little bit of that for you. strings I could Beethoven was incredible <laughs> <laughs> inside classical humor <laughs> <laughs> I think that's all yeah you got it yeah go out there play with your mates have fun uh, do some cueing do it with conviction and then even if you cue incorrectly they'll think that they made the mistake <laughs> yeah. yeah and yell at them yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay good luck <laughs>